Good evening, uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com and it's uh, Wacky Wuggly Wednesday, um, January 28th. Uh, in this video, I want to look at, uh, I want to show you uh, biotech here. Look, most of the market, it's like it just got really ugly. There's a lot of uh, topping patterns, a lot of um, breakouts that aren't working. And by the way, members, um, tonight I'm actually going to be looking at some uh, like some short entries, some stocks that are setting up um, to be pretty good shorts and don't seem to have a catalyst for a bounce in the foreseeable future. Actually, yes, the future is foreseeable. It'll be about a month or so. Um, so we'll be talking about that um, as well as a few other things. And by the way, if you haven't tried Stock Market Mentor, look, anybody can make money in a bull market, but it's really tough these days. So I'm here to help. Um, give it a shot if you want. If you don't, I won't know about it. Um, okay, with biotech here, it is still working. Okay, down the IBB, um, the index down over 2% today. But look at this uptrend. It's still working just fine, but we've got a little more of a pullback to go, I would say, if the market continues uh, to be weak. I think this selling, and I'll show you Illumina in just a second, I think this selling is really a function of, of like sell them if you can sell them. The ones that uh, that have demand, uh, if you're a large fund and you need to be taking some profits, you need to be raising some cash, you're gonna do that in biotech right now and then look to either buy it back lower or um, buy some other stuff that, that you see is getting um, to where it's about to be a good value, um, such as energy stocks. Well, not so much. But anyway, that's my, that's my theory here, is that the uptrend, you know, these are not economically sensitive unless, unless there's a real downturn in the economy. And even then, what are economically sensitive in biotech terms are the small cap biotechs because those are the startups, those are the ones that by definition of being a small cap, they don't have a lot of capitalization, they don't have a lot of dough, um, so they need to get financing and when money's really, really tight, like it's not right now, then they're gonna have trouble. So people don't wanna put their money on some biotech stock. I know I wouldn't if my money was really, really tight. So. That is not this. This is not the way this is working now. So I would look for a pullback here on the IBB, on the biotech index, before you really get all lathered up about a particular stock. And this is really what's happening. You look at Illumina here. Daily chart, trading, you know, at about like 200 was the ceiling. It um, just yesterday, you know, poked up above there, 206, today got above 210. And if the market was strong, if there was buying pressure in the market, you'd have probably seen a, a pretty significant breakout. You can see on the weekly chart, it's still in a really nice uptrend, but you'd have seen a breakout. Uh, I'm not making a, a call on, on Illumina one way or another. If you look at this ADX indicator, um, which is a, essentially it's a, it's a trend indicator. The black line gives you the strength of the trend, not the direction. The black line's about as weak as it can be. Or put another way, this stock is just drifting totally sideways. Um, as such, you know, I have no opinion on it. Could go up, could go down. Right now, it's in a sideways consolidation. The breakout was sold into. And that's my point. Here, this stock broke out really heavy volume today and it closed at the low of the day or 30 cents above the low of the day which on a $200 stock is kind of at the low so my point is I want you to be really really careful don't be a biotech bull if you're a short-term trader if you're a long-term trader that's great um, because I think biotech still works but if you're a long-term trader uh, a long-term investor in biotech, if you're a believer in biotech, then you don't need to be looking at this chart. Look at this one, on this one, look at this one. Celgene, okay, that works, probably gonna pull back a bit, about as much as the IBB. Uh, you know, we can go on and on. Celdex, you know, I like this stock, I'm long a bunch of calls on it. I would say this is gonna pull back a bit. On the weekly chart though, 
the stock is still in an uptrend. So there are all these biotech stocks that are still in an uptrend. And if this is your time frame, if you're really looking, like if you're looking at the fundamentals, okay, memo to you. If you're looking at the fundamentals of a biotech stock, then actually you really shouldn't care what the stock price is doing, should you? If the stock is lower, if you like the stock, you think the company's, the future's so bright, um, if you're going to trade it, you got to wear welding goggles. Um, if that's your take on a company fundamentally, then why are you looking at charts? Um, you should be, I mean, you can look at charts to find the best buy points to add to your marvelous position. Um, but on the other hand, if you are getting shaken out, you know, in and out and in and out um, because of these daily gyrations, then don't turn and listen to me. I'm giving you pearls. Okay. Don't turn a losing trade into a long-term position because suddenly you think you know more than guys making millions of dollars on the street who cover biotech. In other words, know what you're trading, know why you are trading it. If you're looking at balance sheets and, and uh, phase two trials and this and that and the other thing, that's great. Buy the weakness if you like it. But if you want to trade these, trade them, then you need to look at the charts. I hadn't even planned to go into Celdex, but I digress a lot. I don't even take medication for my ADD. I think it's because I like it. Anyway, you can look here on Celdex. Like I said, I like this company, but short term, you know, I, I think it hits 21 before it hits 24 again. Um, because that's just the way this stock is trading. So bottom line is this. I want you to be careful with biotech right now. I look at the overall market as more of a shorting environment, not for biotech, but just an environment to be putting on shorts versus buying dips. Um, you're just not seeing the dip buying be rewarding. So members over to the strategy session, let's talk shorts.